Today we are going to talk about a not so average father and son fight. It all starts with the son wanting his father to cook for him and have a nice meal. So Yujiro as a good father comes to his son's apartment and they have coffee together after which Baki asks Yujiro to make him a coffee and Yujiro does a very typical Asian father thing. I will not just make you coffee son, I will make you an extra special coffee. But we are missing something for that. Tell me dad, what magical ingredient do I have to get you to make the extra special coffee? You have to get my neck and mop the floor with my face. Guess I will have to brew my own strength then dad. Just kidding, he didn't say the last line. I just baby. And then Yujiro just leaves. Later in the evening, Yujiro drinks and smokes. And during this time, he gets lost in the father-son love bond. Then he comes home where both Baki and Yujiro have their dinner together. And then this kid Baki asks Yujiro to do the dishes. Yujiro and dishes. And Yujiro agrees to do the dishes only if Baki beats him in rock paper scissors. Yujiro loses but he is too damn masculine for the rules and even his scissors cut the rock. Typical Yujiro Hanma. And in the end Baki does the dishes. But Yujiro being a gentleman invites Baki to dinner. So the next night Baki goes to the 5 star hotel for dinner and gets shocked after seeing the prices on the menu. To give you some context, Baki is literally a billionaire. This is the house he was born in. That should tell you just how much Baki has trained. He does not know anything other than fighting. Baki goes to the dining area where Yujiro comes and scolds Baki on his outfit while wearing a jacket on the same clothes he has been wearing for years. I am pretty sure Yujiro doesn't even wash his clothes as he can just glare at them until the dirt jumps off in fear. Then Yujiro teaches Baki how to eat food like a gentleman. Later Baki asks Yujiro why he killed his mother and obviously Yujiro gets super angry. I mean how can a son ask his father why he murdered his mother? That's outrageous. Such a bratty child Baki is. Not only that but he also lays his hands on Yujiro and Yujiro grits his teeth so hard he becomes so angry that the whole building starts shaking. Typical Baki stuff. That's how the fight starts. Yujiro grabs Baki, jumps out of the window and crashes into a car where the narrator tells us how it is possible to survive a crash from such height. Is it even possible to land on a target when jumping from a high-rise building? We got an answer from Master Sergeant Akio Kamara, age 53, with the Airborne Training Unit of the 1st Airborne Brigade of the Ground Self-Defense Force. He's made 345 jumps. He this to say. Maybe. You have to be 20 For example, if you assume top cluster, at high about 98 feet, if you double 60 seconds, you got around 300 feet. So if you're high-rise, say you're over 90 feet here, then you get a car, and parking lot in the area below you, it may be possible. I highly doubt they would have a scratch even if they would have directly fallen on the ground considering Yujiro has literally stopped earthquakes. Then Yujiro throws Baki like a toy as always and grabs him by his cheeks while lecturing him. And what does Baki do? He starts thinking in the middle of the fight. He's thinking to himself about what is happening in the present rather than actually living in the present and as a result gets kicked. Then in the middle of the fight, Yujiro shows Baki this is how a gentleman should poop. While the narrator explains us why this is the best technique and how it is so good. He straightened his arms with all his might and then used the same strength to flex them. He put his legs down with all his might and lifted them up with tremendous power. He and then the fight continues in a very repetitive manner while thousands of civilians gather outside to watch the fight. I know you are dumb, but you can at least understand something this simple. Attack me, you idiot! Time to take charge! He is so good! You pathetic piece of shit! Come at me! Let's end this. Let's become a cockroach. Yujiro was about to jump on Baki and tell him how garbage he was but surprise surprise there were tens of thousands of people gathered around watching him like they were watching zoo animals fight. Imagine being the strongest person in the world, having defeated the strongest countries in the world and then one fine night you look like this. And this reporter is reporting you. Imagine being with this face in the universe where everyone has a jawline and if it was possible the writer would have given a circle a jawline. Where normal fighters are given more cuts than the director's extended version of a 3 hour epic saga. Yujiro asks Baki to not fight in front of the crowd but Baki hits Yujiro with 3 strikes. 
and then he again becomes a cockroach but this time he isn't even able to shake Yujiro because you can't use the same technique twice on Yujiro. Yujiro hits anything twice to the point that he even had sex with individuals just once. Because of this foolishness, Baki gets thrown like a doll and crashes into the ground. And what does the public do? An 18 year old kid is bleeding and the public is talking about how hard this kid is dying, clicking photographs and taking videos from different angles. This is indeed pretty realistic. They are literally zooming onto him with their 100x feature, uploading videos on TikTok with different hashtags. Such a pussy. I have no doubt that these angles are downloaded by the anime team from their TikTok. And maybe we will get a lot more angles of this fight after some decades, just like some other angles we are getting these days. Then Baki stands and stops his bleeding with his warrior mentality. Pretty realistic. While Baki prepares to continue this fight, I am dancing to this bang. Then the fight continues. Dinosaur, dinosaur, let's become a dinosaur. Power of imagination! What the? Triceratops fist! Now let me show you some of my imagination. Power of imagination! What's he imitating? I am imitating myself. Then in the middle of the fight, Yujiro asks Baki to come to him so that he can pet him as Baki was fighting so well. It was like a toxic couple where a partner does all the bullshit and in the middle of a very heated decisive moment, the narcissistic partner kisses the victim and the victim gets trolled. Just like a victim, Baki starts crying and goes to get petted on the head after being a little insistent. But at last, he broke the cycle, he took a stand and continued the fight instead of getting patted. But it is Yujiro we are talking about. He patted him anyway, trapping him once again. He even gaslighted my boy, saying he was waiting for Yujiro's approval. Then Yujiro gets pinned down to the ground and Baki becomes so happy only for Yujiro to pierce the ground with sheer force, punch through the asphalt and throw Baki like an insect. Then we see Hanayama just sitting in a bar and enjoying alcohol whereas Chiharu insists Hanayama to go to the fight. But Hanayama knows damn well whenever he goes to any of Baki's his fight, his ass somehow always gets dragged by the ogre. Boss, let's go watch the fight. You hundred pound cockroach. When we go there, you're gonna fly to the hospital in one punch. It's me whose 300 pound ass will be on the ground getting all the beating from the ogre. You like the muscles on my frame, right? Yes, boss. So just drink your share of alcohol and sleep. And then the real fight starts when Yujiro activates his demon back and kicks Baki which activates Baki's demon back as well. And just at that time, a hacker joins the fight. Yujiro Hanma. Imagine being so powerful that an army is after you on an empty doodoo -doo island and bombing it with 1000 tons of TNT while being in a world war. Imagine having such a level of power that you don't need to prove it by going to places and beating some punching bags. Isn't something that Yujiro can relate to. Just to give you a clear idea of how much 1000 tons of TNT really is, the bomb dropped on Hiroshima had a higher yield of 16,000 tons and the island where 1000 tons of TNT were bombed was a solitary one and had a total circumference of less than 1 kilometer. And even after all of this, Yujiro doesn't get a single scratch, still smiling like this and thinking, that's it, don't leave me after you have come all the way to this doodoo -doo island to kill this damn monkey. I wasn't coming out because I was enjoying the fireworks. I heard you had this new invention called the atomic bomb. Why don't you drop it too? It will be fun for me. As the commander doesn't get the permission to drop the atomic bomb, Yuchiro just pierces the deck of the battleship with commander's body. And when he moves forward on the ship, literally thousands of people mindlessly jump into the ocean and this is how this Japanese man was the first Hanma to defeat the USA. Power of Imagination Yuichiro Hanma gives Yujiro a taste of his own medicine as he comes out of nowhere, trashes Yujiro and just leaves. Yuichiro Hanma was disappointed in Yujiro because Yujiro was struggling against one of his own child. As Yuichiro Hanma himself can defeat Yujiro without breaking 
taking a sweat. Not because of the feats, as Yujiro has literally stopped earthquakes with his bare hands, which is a bigger feat than anything Yujiro has shown. But just because, look at Yujiro. Yujiro's nickname is Gigachiro. Yujiro is the definition of I have no enemies alive. Yoichiro Hanma is not dead yet, he is just not on this earth. Just to give you a hint, he is helping some other superheroes right now to defeat some bigger level threats and manifested his spirit in this fight. Yujiro struggling against Baki is not 100% true, but it's more true than false. After Yoichiro disappears, Yujiro uses Baki as an uncheck. But right then, Baki activates his demon brain and kicks Yujiro. And it was this time Kozui came in between and asked them to stop the fight. But she gets the class classic treatment. After which both of them start fighting Ro, punching each other directly without defending them and in the end, Yujiro hugs Baki and ends the fight. But Baki even after being as good as dead, uses his spirit to kick Yujiro after which Yujiro declares Baki the strongest. Also Yujiro finally cooks miso soup with tofu for Baki. A little salt even. If you liked my content, then you can also take a look at our growing communities on Instagram, Twitter and Discord to stay updated and engage further. You can find all the links in the description below. That's it for the video guys. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, then you can like the video and subscribe to the channel.